Hi guys, Jar Jar here, here to bring you guys my new sword and shield build. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it for a while, so we're just going to jump right into it. We're going to start off with my gear. Um, I am using five kegs. I have the sword and shield kegs. Uh, we'll get into that later. I'm using a one-piece Kina. It's medium and fuse for the undaunted passive. I don't have undaunted yet. Uh, heavy chest kegs. And a little something different I added to my build is a three-piece succession. Shout out to Chernia for this. Um, he told me about it. If I were to go high elf, that I could possibly throw in succession for the for more max magicka. And we are using a three-piece willpower. I'm going to show you guys my uh, character sheet. Thirty-nine thousand max magicka, twenty-four thousand max health. It would be twenty-two thousand, I believe, but we have emperorship in this campaign. I have 1,862 Magicka Recovery, Spell Damage 2,400, close to 2,500. This is all unbuffed. Uh, physical and Spell Resistance is at a good, that's at a good spot, that's, that's really good actually, unbuffed. Buffed up, my Resistance goes to 27,000 Spell Resistance and 19,000 Physical Resistance. We're gonna get into the skills I use, uh, starting with my sword and shield bar. This is the main source of DPS. Puncturing sweeps. It's a really good single target and AOE. We're using. We're still using radiant oppression. This is my execute. I like to use it when uh, enemies go below 50% health. This skill, repentance, is probably one of the best skills the Templar has. Just having it on your bar gives you 10% magic of stamina and health recovery. And when you kill an enemy and you use repentance, it restores health and stamina. Uh, I am using structured entropy for the, uh, the major sorcery. Also having it slotted gives you 8% more health. I am using top wind charge. This is buggy and it does mess up a lot. If you don't like using top wind charge, you can use invasion since you are running repentance. But if you're not running Repentance, I don't recommend using Invasion, because you're going to need some way to get your stand back. Usually I have Dawnbreaker on my front bar, I was just doing Maelstrom. But I use Dawnbreaker on my front bar, because Templars really don't have good ultimates. So Dawnbreaker is a must. I mean, if you don't have Dawnbreaker, you can use Radial Sweep. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't used it. I used it before, but I don't. I don't really like that skill. You could also use Nova. Nova's really cost, like, cost a lot. Uh, switching to my back bar. Before I even get to my skills, the reason why I'm using bow is because Templars don't have movement speed. They have very, very poor mobility. So I use the bow. Shout out to Blabafet for showing me this. I use the bow for the hasty retreat passive. Uh, pretty much when you dodge roll, you get a movement speed for 40, or a 40% for 5 seconds. I'll just show you what it looks like. So this is like a Templar's mobility with a Resto staff. Like, you're not, unless you use Rapids. Um, but 9 times out of 10, you will not use Rapids because it drains your stamina. But if you use the roll dodge, that's without sprinting. And here's the roll dodge while sprinting. So, you know, you have a little bit of mobility. Not like a Nightblade or a Sork, but it's some, something's better than nothing. So getting on to my Bow Bar, this is pretty much my buff bar. I'm using Channel Focus, which gives me the Physical and Spell Resistance buff. Purifying Ritual. This cleanses any dots, cleanses Meteors. Um, talons, you name it, it, it's really good. Hardest Magicka. Some sort of shield. Um, does nothing against physical, but it does help against... Uh, does help against magicka builds. Breath of Life. Best heal in the game, by far. And usually here, I would have Proxy Depth, but I haven't unlocked it on this character yet. I uh, got this character to the Vet 16 like a week ago. So... And replace the Proxy Depth, I am using Total Dark. Uh, this only works against... Uh, magical projectiles 
or magic abilities. This really doesn't do anything for against stand builds unless they cast like a meteor or soul tether or something. Um, but if you don't have proxy debt, I would use total dark. But if you do have proxy debt, put that on your bar instead. And I am using an ice comet on my back bar. I love the damage you can put out with this. You can set up a nice burst. You can proxy up. Uh, wait about five seconds since proxy that takes eight seconds to explode. Call in your meteor, top wing charge in, and get that big burst of DPS. Make sure you entropy beforehand. Uh, I do have 597 champion points. I'm going to show you what I do with my champ points on my sword and shield bar. So we're going to start here. I um I have 75 points into this tree because of this passive right here, Shield Expert. Increases armor of shield by 75%. So if you take a look at my shield, it gives me 3,491 armor. That's more than a heavy than a heavy chest. So that's like having like an extra piece of armor on you and it also grants uh, physical and spell resistance just having a shield on alone uh, going back into the champion point tree I put 27 points in spell shield um, usually I have less than that usually I go up to 8.1% I'm not sure why I added much more there 44 into hardy 27 to elemental defender 12 points into Bastion. 9 points into Quick Recovery. I don't really have a lot of points here because the only shield I use is Harness Magicka. And I get a pretty big shield because I have really nice Max Magicka. But this does help. I, mean, I could add more. But I guess I'll have to play around with, with it. I put 32 points into Magician to reduce cost tree. Only because at 32%, as you can see, the next point only gives me 0.1 more. You get a hard diminishing return after... 8.1% and it's almost not worth putting points into there I feel like after that I have 25 points into Arcanus for the magic recovery I put 7 points into my stam recovery and I have 28 points here uh, because I do use the bow and I do dodge roll a lot um, it's a really fast paced gameplay uh, with the bow. With the Resho Staff, I'll show you guys what you can do with Resho Staff if you don't want to use bow. 27 points into Blessed. 39 into Elfborn. I only put one here because I hear this is not scaling properly still. Uh, it could be, but last I heard, um, this was not working properly. And then I put 100 points into Thromaturge. Um, if you were to go Resto stuff, which I have on me, if you didn't want to use bow, what I would do is I would just swap out Harness Magicka for Healing Ward. Um, if you don't want to use Total Dark, you can put Harness Magicka there. Uh, but I don't see why you wouldn't want to use Total Dark. It's probably the best, if not the best skill, one of the best skills for Templar, other than Repentance. But I like, I like the bow for the mobility. But it's, it's really all about preference at that point. Whatever you feel comfortable with. I do use Max Food. I do use Tristat Food. I don't recommend drinks because you have good recovery. You don't need outrageous recovery. I think anything over 1700 you should be fine. Uh, sometimes you do have to manage your resources a little bit better, especially if you're using a bow. You just can't be spamming abilities, you know what I mean? You'll, you'll, run, you'll run yourself dry on resources. So make sure you manage your resources. Um, stamina really shouldn't be a problem as long as you're killing things, because like I said, when you're dodge rolling around and you're using stam and you killed a few people, you just pop repentance and boom, you get stam and health back.
but uh, here's the last another look at my character sheet. This is unbuffed, uh, fully buffed with uh, continuous attack. Like I said, I, I don't have assault ten, or I don't have, I don't have um, undaunted nine, but fully buffed with spell damage and continuous attack. I do sit around thirty three hundred spell damage with entropy. Of course, too. And like I said, with the channel focus buff, which is really nice, you get 27,000 spell resistance and 19,000 physical. But uh, I hope this uh, video was any good for help. Um, if you guys have any questions, you guys can come by my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Jar Jar Mercs. Or you can leave a comment on the video below. Um, talk to you guys then. Thank you guys for watching.